my planner friends. This is Amy from Beloved Plans and I know it's been a hot minute since I have had any new content for you guys but it is 2023 and I am excited to be back creating new videos for you guys and just kind of changing up the channel a little bit. I'm going to do a separate video that will just kind of explain where I've been and kind of what my plans are for 2023 and what you can expect on my channel going forward. But today I am super excited to share with you guys my uh, plan for reading my Bible in 2023. A lot of my faith videos in the past have had a lot of questions and um, I know I always love seeing what people are using, what tools or studies, or different things people are using to read their Bibles. And so I wanted to share that with you guys today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So happy to have you here and let's dive in to my 2023 Bible reading plan. All right, well, first things first, I wanted to just share with you guys the Bible I am planning to use once again this year. Um, this is the NLT, so the New Living Translation Life Application Study Bible. This is the second one of these that I have gotten. My first one was a few years back, and I have a lot of different Bibles, and I'll link to a video where I show you guys some of them um, from previously. And um, I like to use this one for when I'm doing Bible study because down in the bottom section of it, it has a little little notes section that explains just kind of like backstory or meanings of the verses or just gives you a little bit more context to help better understand what is being said. So I really love using this Bible. Uh, again, it's called the Life Application Study Bible uh, for when I do Bible studies. So that's the Bible I plan to use. I will link to it down in the description below in case you'd like to check it out. They have tons of gorgeous covers, different styles. If you want a smaller one, a bigger one, a hard cover, soft cover, I have a leather soft cover one here and it's held up really well. I've had it for um, a couple of years now. So that is the Bible I will be using once again this year. Oh, and my tabs here are from the Daily Grace Co. Um, I've gotten a lot of tabs from them. Uh, I lead a middle school ministry group called Wildlife and I gave all of the eighth grade girls that I'm currently uh, working with Bibles for their birthdays and I put tabs on them and I got all the tabs from the Daily Grace Co. So I will link to those as well down in the description in case you want to check them out. They're really, really beautiful and I know for me, I love uh, the ease of having tabs in my Bible to easily find different books in the Bible because I don't have them all memorized yet. So. so the first thing I'll be doing this year, again, I did actually start using the Bible Recap. Um, it's a one-year guide to reading and understanding the entire Bible and it's actually in a chronological order so you don't start necessarily in Genesis and just go all the way through Revelation in that order you go in a more chronological order which I think is really cool I love that it's a little different that way but it's set up so that you read um, a few chapters a day and if you do it every single day you will get through the entire Bible in one year now I did start this last year in 2022 and I made it about 45 days, uh, not in a row. I had some breaks in there, but I made it 45 days into the study and got into Leviticus. And then I got sick and a whole bunch of life stuff happened. And as I often do, I just totally put it to the wayside. And I was like, well, I suck at that. And I'm just not going to do that. So um, I did not pick it back up the rest of the year. However, I decided, you know what, I am going to pick up where I left off. I'm not going to start over. I still remember a lot of the stuff that I learned from the first 45 days. So I'm picking it up back in the middle of Leviticus, uh, which I'm going to be real is a really, really hard book to read. But it's what has really helped me understand it is actually using this because it's actually giving so much more meaning to what I'm reading than I would have gotten had I not had this. Uh, so I'm going to be using the Bible recap if you want to check it out, I'll link to her website. There's a lot of different ways you can actually do this study. You don't have to buy the hard copy book, um, but basically the way it works is um, I did obviously choose to get the hard copy book. And um, so like for today, I will be on Leviticus 22 through 23. So I will read those chapters in my Bible. Then I typically will come here and I will read her summary. So she just, it's like two pages for every single day. It's not more than that. Read 
read her summary and then there's always what she calls a god shot that she keeps in there as well and then i did end up getting the study guide that accompanies the bible recap book uh, and this just gives some additional questions that can help you better understand what you're studying so like for day 51 it's got just four questions so all in all it takes me about 20 minutes or so just depending on how many chapters i'm reading that day but i've been doing it first thing in the morning and it's been really really good to get into the word on a daily basis and just start my day off that way um, i really love it if you don't want to deal with these ginormous books or you want to do it more on the go in the bible app she also has the bible recap set up as a reading plan in the bible app so you can do it that way and then there's also a podcast where she basically i believe she is actually just reading the every day is like so if it's like you know day 10 then it'll have day 10's thing and she will literally read this on the podcast and the god shot um so that's a really cool way to do it like maybe if you want to do it on your commute to work or if you're sitting in the school drop-off line or if you have just a pocket of your day where it's easier to do audio stuff versus like sitting down with an actual book, the podcast is really, really awesome to do as well. And I did that actually when I was traveling last year and that didn't, wasn't able to like lug this ginormous, these book, big books with me. Um, that worked really, really well to keep me, keep me going. So fingers crossed, I'll try to keep you guys posted as I progress through this throughout the year, but I'm really hoping that since I already have 50 days into it now, that I can actually accomplish it this year by the end of 2023. It'd be really fun to be able to say, I read the entire Bible in a year. So that is the one thing I'm doing. So the other thing I'm doing to kind of accompany the Bible recap is when I'm reading, if there is a verse that stands out, obviously I'll highlight it or make notes or that kind of thing. But if there's a verse that stands out to me, I am starting to do what's called verse mapping. And I started this in mid-December and it's been really fun to do. Uh, I, it was kind of a new practice that I've heard about but hadn't really tried yet. So I ended up getting this verse mapping Bible study journal and you can verse map with any Bible that you have and I will probably do a whole separate video on how I'm verse mapping but if you want to check it out go ahead and go a link to her website it's by Christy Cambron uh, a link to her website down below but she walks through exactly how to do verse mapping so I'll just briefly show you guys one that I did and in the beginning of the book it walks you through exactly how to do it and breaks it down in super super easy digestible ways uh, so let's see here um, so like the first one I did was Luke 137 for the word of God will never fail. What's cool is you look up that verse in different translations and then you define some of the words based on uh, the Greek or the Hebrew uh, word of those things and then you do a little bit more in-depth exploration of the verse. Not going to go into a ton of detail of it. Again, I think I'll do a separate video showing you guys how I do that, but verse mapping is something I definitely want to do uh, to help me just get a little bit more meaning out of what I'm reading. Those are the things that I am planning to use this year in my Bible study. I know I'll probably have some other studies that I'll incorporate throughout the year, but as far as my day-to-day, -day, one of my goals for the year is daily time in the Word. Uh, whatever that looks like, if it's on an app or if it's here. Um, I'm super excited to be able to do the Bible recap and dive in. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have anything particular that you're using this year to study your Bible or how you plan to get into the Word every single day. I would love to hear what your ideas are. So thank you so much for watching and I am super excited to bring you guys some new content this year and I hope you'll be back soon.